Do you remember even what happened in this week's episode? Uh, she's in the time place for a while. Uh-huh, she the... keeps having weird flashbacks that mean nothing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then a whale swallowed her. A whale swallowed her? Mm-hmm. I know there was whales. It swallowed her and then jumped into hyperspace because of things. All right, we've done it. That's that's the end of the... God. <laughs> Osaka. Osaka review. Osaka. <laughs> Asoku, <laughs> God damn it, you fucked me all up, kid. That's what I do. That's uh, my job here. Uh, dude, just call me One Punch Ken. This show just keeps getting fucking worse and more boring with each passing week. She's just floating in the water for about 12 hours. Nobody, I guess that her kind can live underwater. That's a thing now. Yeah, okay, so where they left off in the last episode, she got knocked off this cliff, fell into the ocean, and woke Been up. Been overnight, about 12 hours. Yeah, woke up. In the world between worlds, which is a uh, Clone Wars and maybe Rebels invention, so not even like OG Star Wars bullshit, but like just some thing that Dave Filoni made up, where all time and space exists as one thing, Ken. And you know the grand thing of it is, they tells you nothing. Yeah, you do all the flashback of your life with the guy that betrayed you, and the uh, I guess because he's your master, he's important to you for some reason, <laughs> even though he's like a mass murderer and he's already dead. Yeah, destroyer I... of planets. But no, let's have him come back as, you know, Anakin and tell you nothing. It, it shows A bunch of sword fights that meant nothing. And then younger her. Let's see, I'm trying to find... It was episode five, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Oh. I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to use it for stills. <laughs> oh, this this is some bullshit here, too. Look, let's see. Let's, let's go. Oh, oh no! This- not oh, that I one. knew you were going to mess up the buttons. I knew it! I wasn't expecting to go over here this early. I should have. I should have known. That's for later. You stupid bastard. Yeah. All right. Uh, there we go. Okay, so it starts off with uh, green bitch, um, Hera, just flying, flying around this area, and she lands, and then comes out of her ship w- with a gun <laughs> to secure the area that she just flew over with a bigger gun <laughs> knowing for, for um already that if they are there they have force powers and a gun isn't gonna do shit yeah it's really i mean we saw darth vader take that bitch to his hand one time <laughs> so she's like all oh uh, hey what's out here i don't know what's going on out here let me look around and then her, then her little kid comes out and goes mommy i wanna i wanna come outside and play with the robot trash can and then, I'll go right to the cliff, honey. Yeah. Do what you want. Yeah, she basically just goes, okay, but keep that fucking garbage heap with you and don't go too far. And he immediately goes to like the goddamn cliff where they find the only actual character in the whole fucking show, Huang, which is a terrible name for a robot. Yeah, kind of suspicious. Yeah, makes him sound Huang. like he's Japanese made. And I don't trust anything in Japan. No, no, I think probably got a nuke on it somewhere. <laughs> I was listening to somebody talk about this and went walking up to him and just going, Oh my god, do you have Sabine's head? <laughs> I was like, man, I wish. That'd be great. Oh, that would have been that would have added an element to this fucking show that would have been likable. Yeah. Basically, like Huang just is like, I'm sad, they didn't stay together, blah 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 blah. And then then you got, oh look, it's it's what's her face and her, her old master. What happened to your face, Master? You look yeah. horrible. Kyoto and uh, Anakin. And um, he just starts giving her cryptic fucking questions like, do you want to live? Real cryptic, right? That, I don't know how I would answer that. Yeah, can he just say, hey, wake up, you're drowning, stupid. <laughs> that would have been a much better scene. He <laughs> kicks her kicks her right in the face. Hey, wake up, you're drowning, you're moron. It's like, it's, it would have been better like if it was like South Park when he makes up an imagination land or butters. And the, what was it, the mayor of the town, he goes, hey, wake up, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that would be way better. But then we get, like, one of the only, like, actually kind of good lightsaber duels in this. But, dude, like, it. What was the point? 
Yeah, well, there is no point to the lightsaber duel, but look how much better he is. Yeah, it's insane. It's absolutely insane just how much better he is. <laughs> like, the actors. <laughs> and, He's a, and you saw those clips of him back in the day training. Like, he was... Yeah, he, he was actor, into it, man. It was legit, dude. Yeah, he was really into it. Pulling shit from behind his back, flipping the fucking thing. I was like, holy shit, okay. A little, a little more respect for Christian Haydenson. Hayden Christensen. I like the other guy better. <laughs> <laughs> so the kid's just hanging out at the, you know, the edge of the cliff, going... Mom, do you hear that? And she's like, no, you dumb bitch. I got tentacles for ears. <laughs> and this guy's just standing back there going, I'm fat and old. That's a twofer. Was, Why does anyone let me fly? It's not like I'm going to have a heart attack at any point. I was in Mandalorian, remember? Remember, remember? me? Remember? Yeah, remember. remember. Drop on it. <laughs> I'll drop on it, a pirate. So the kid's like, I hear some shit. And she's like, okay. And she starts listening like an idiot. And but somehow, even though she has no okay, like the kid's like, okay, his dad was a Jedi. That to some extent makes sense for the character. Even though what the fuck is he even doing here? This is a <laughs> this was a yeah, battlefield like 15 minutes ago. Of, yeah, an active battle site. <laughs> yeah, I mean just bring my kid. I couldn't find a babysitter for a war. Who <laughs> she just got like almost killed in the the, the last episode. She did get like two other pilots killed. They almost hold do maneuver her. <laughs> They did. They almost did they this. Did it. it was a uh, hyperspace right through those motherfuckers. Yeah, and if we're going, if everything made sense and it was all continuity, they would have. They would have blew up that ship and everybody else's ship. Yeah. Technically, they did go through them. So she starts listening and goes, wait, I can, wh what do women listen for? The kid's like, lightsabers. And she's like, I can hear it. Oh, shit. So she, whoa, what is with those eyes? Dude, like they're pointing yeah. those. I think like the contact <laughs> slip because they're pointing like really drastically different directions. <laughs> those are Drasdi eyes. <laughs> Jesus, looks like a pug. So they're like, let's go searching, and then you know we got, we got this motherfucker. Still talking. Like, not like she's anything. she's talking some mad shit here, going like, looks like you don't have much left to teach me, and he has been just kicking her ass. Like it, you could see the actor compensating for her bad <laughs> fucking, I, I don't want to call it swordsmanship but it's it's just not great man it's, yeah, <laughs> she's not good at this like she she's she, really she looks the part she looks the part i'll give her that she's really for how not. close they are to the thing but she sucks at everything else how she decided to play this character doesn't make any sense just get a stunt double just get a stunt yeah, double. exactly they're cheap you're you're in makeup already people won't tell or speed it up do something my god it's just, uh, it's, and and it, you're right. You can just see him pulling back, like he can. He's so much better at this and like natural at it. He really is. And then they they jump to this fucking cloudy shit that I thought was gonna be like a, she's gonna end up in a bubblegum forest because how pink it is. <laughs> but no, no. It turns out they're in, uh, the Clone Wars, and she's now a child, for whatever reason. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I guess it's a memory, right? What's the point of any of this? That's what I mean. There's no fucking point. Nothing makes any fucking sense. It was just to do a bunch of flashbacks and to get Anakin in this series somehow. Like all this. Oh, oh look at that. It's it's a clone trooper. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, look, there's Anakin dressed like he was in fucking Clone Wars. You like that, guys? You like that? Should I jingle more keys at your fucking face, you goddamn idiots? Oh, I hate this. How about we show. morph him into Darth Vader, sort of, over and over and over again? So basically, she like refuses to fight. She says she don't want to get more people hurt, but it's like your 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 job is to fight so more people That's, don't get yeah. hurt. You're you're missing the entire point of of your role here, you dumb bitch. At least you know she's a woman. <laughs> yeah, we got that. We'll get to that. And so it basically oh, and just comes down to him saying, you know, you got to fight, basically. That's bas that's basically the moral of the story. It's like, you, you got to find it within yourself to fight, you dumb bitch, because you're drowning. You've been in this water for a long fucking time. I wish he would have said that. You're, yeah, you're drowning. And then she went, oh, God, I'm dying. Nope, she has some green bitch lift her up. God, this is so stupid, man. That haircut. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the damn cartoon. Like, not mm -hmm. like I know that's what they're going for, but he looks like a cartoon in this. Yeah, and like, not in a good way. Uh-uh. I will say, though, the, the little girl that... that Played her as, as like you know played Ahsoka here, way yeah. better than Rosario Dawson. <laughs> you know who that is? No, 
It's the little girl from that played um Tony Stark's daughter in uh Infinity War and all those. Oh really? Yeah, she just she was in something else. I guess she's like man, she's getting a lot of work, that little kid. Oh, See, man. oh here we go. Remember, oh, look, Mary? look at this. Isn't this cool? Red Saber, blue saber, red saber. See, they like I thought they were actually hinting at something that could have been cool, which is that like she's communing with the passed on spirit of Anakin Skywalker, who is a culmination of both men. Mm -hmm. Like that could have been like a cool lesson in like, like all of us have darkness inside of us. And all of us have parts of the dark side inside of us. It's not about whether you have that or not. It's about what, what, what do you choose to do with what you have? And like, you know, the actions you take, like that's what yeah. makes you a, a light side user or a dark side user. Isn't it? Isn't the power inside you or the potential? Mm -hmm. Like that would have been cool. No, it's just like question again, live or die. Do you want to die? Yeah, liver, do you want to die? And it's more just searching. Just, just keep searching because, you know, that's this is a great use of uh, screen time. This Don't is, they have sensors to see who, how many people are on a planet? Like, isn't that Yeah, they really they do. They they should be able to pinpoint. So this is like, like a cool exactly. little scene. Like, she ain't bad. No, she's moving like, you know, something with that, you know, has a little athletic ability. Yeah, that's like, that's not terrible. Like, it, it could have been sped up a little bit. Yeah, Rosera Dawson moves like she had like six back surgeries. <laughs> Because I'm heavies. <laughs> <laughs> Try to take care of those fun bags. You know what I'm saying? Bro? <laughs> those things are bad on your back. Jesus. <laughs> Apparently so. And then the Just fall of Mandalore. A lot more of uh, you got to fight. And then, oh man, she's an adult again. And they're back on uh, Snake Way. It's a Dragon Ball Z reference. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. Blood on Rumble says she's a kid version of Gamora from Guardians. Yeah. And then again, oh, um, he's got his, his eyes. Ah, you think it's oh, gonna mean something? Landing. No, he just he just switches back. It's all. Oh yeah, and then all... and then he uh, the 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 fucking pathway disappears, and now she's drowning. Now she's in water, and she just opens her eyes. Oh, you can't hold on. I'll go back. She just opens her eyes, and just doesn't do anything. Just kind of just sits Nothing. there. Just kind of hangs yeah. out. Don't use it's the like, force to get up. I'm comfortable. You know, I'm I'm cool right here. I'll just let that bitch die. And what's coming up though is like the most disturbing part. Like, look at her here. Okay, so you got you got her fucking uh, tentacle thingies, you know, here and here, right? Mm -hmm. But you got this thing to, to you know break up the face and the tentacle, almost make it look like it's a headdress. I always thought it was a headdress, to be honest. Mm -mm. No, it's just no. pointless. It's. Until she looks like she'd go back and go back to that, that scene we just had, if you can. Ah, damn it. No, but that face she had before is the face she's been making the entire fucking series. Mm -hmm. Just bored, emotionless nothing. Yeah, she's a plank of wood in this. And that's sad, because Rosario Dawson's usually pretty good in stuff. It's not bad. She's never my favorite, but she does know how to act. She was pretty good in Daredevil. She just played a mopey doctor bitch. Like, she's barely in it. And, and she did it she well. Yeah. Oh, just just a mopey fucking. Oh, I gotta do this, but I'm still like a savior. Fuck off. Mm. But yeah, I don't. I don't get. They get a Shamu jumps in the water to save her. <laughs> <laughs> and then I love how like watch this, watch this. Okay, so she's, oh, sw she's swimming, swimming this bitch up to the ramp. Okay, and there's that guy sitting mm -hmm. on the ramp. Oh, here it comes. And then just. Oh, I gotta keep that pausing. Little, kind of having a little trouble here for a 110 pound chick. It just cuts to her out of the water already. <laughs> Cause you know that, that bitch down the water ain't gonna help. That guy's like, Jesus Christ, I'm dead weight in this it. bitch I'll out of the water. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, lady. Yeah. Uh, 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 is it now? I could breathe air again. I was in there for minutes, days. Oh my God, that's ah! his face. Not a good tooth to gum ratio on that They one. got her! Yay! And then, you know, this is the part that's unsettling. Where the fuck are your ears? Are those things your ears? Oh, yeah. Ew. Okay, yeah, I forgot about this part. Ew, is that what it does? No, she should wear a hat like the other one does. <laughs> oh, it's even Ugh. brighter. Ugh. Oh, she said, Ugh. where are your ears, lady? There's so many other ways to do this. That looks horrific. That looks like um, RoboCop paint. Mm-hmm. She has a RoboCop head face. Dude, you can you can see too. 
The paint lines? Yeah. There's like the forehead paint, then the paint on the tip of the prosthetic, and then the prosthetic. <laughs> and then it, down here too. You can see the ball cap where the line is. Yeah, it's it's really weird. Why wouldn't you uh, just give her like a CGI, you know, cap and then just like put the shit in afterwards? Anything. Anything would look better. Like put a towel on her head. Give her give her some kind of wrap. Give her the hat the other chick is wearing. Just put something there because it looks weird. That looks terrible. It looks so bad. Oh, and did you notice something about this? I know one other person caught this in, their, in one of their videos, but did you notice anything about this ball? It seems a bit off. The Pokemon ball? There's no yeah. electronic parts in it, or well, no. Uh, no, no, no. Um, how did how was it destroyed? That's what a lightsaber. Uh huh. It was melted pretty much, wasn't it? Yeah, a hey, simper. Um, shouldn't there be but like a huge perfect... gouge through the middle of it in the shape of the lightsaber? <laughs> Instead of being perfectly cut in half, yeah. like an orange. <laughs> yeah, it looks like someone cut an orange in half with a fucking meat cleaver. <laughs> yeah, no slice mark, no like melted parts. Ugh. Yeah, so they're like, basically nothing of of import said here. They're just like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna listen for spirits <laughs> with the force and figure out what happened. What the fuck, Jesus? Seriously? <sighs> Why didn't you do that when you were in the space between worlds or whatever the hell that was called? All right. So remember, I told you I got like some predictions here. Mm -hmm. You got my thing. Your prediction thing? Yeah, I, I wanna, I want this to pop. Cause I'm at tail, cause I think uh, I know where this is going. There you go. Do it. Get all amped up here, tail. All amped up. Oh, hold on, I gotta switch over. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you so bad. I didn't make it into a thing. I asked you to make it do a thing. I forgot. <laughs> the one thing I asked you to do. Predictions. All right, I'm not gonna drag this out, but. What what um turns <laughs> Anakin Skywalker? We didn't already. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, I didn't know we we're gonna go over the entire episode. Usually we just sort of ballpark it. Yeah, and, yeah. It, it was. But no, I thought it was gonna take much. A lot of shit viewers. to dissect there. Well, the last thing is they get eaten by a whale. That's really, that's <laughs> the, really, um, oh, she talks to the whale first. Yeah, before getting eaten. Um, no, but what turned Anakin Skywalker evil? Pussy. Exactly. His love for Padme, whatever the hell her name was. His love for pussy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think my prediction is uh, Ahsoka has that same love for pussy. And she's in love with... What's the other chick's name? Um, which one? The little, her little Padawan. Uh, purple hair. Purple hair, yeah, her. That I would, think... That would be, like, some grooming shit, wouldn't it? they're gonna be scissoring, huh? Wouldn't that be some grooming shit, though? Because uh, she was originally her Padawan when Sabine was but a child. What the hell do you think um, Anakin and um, Padme was? She She's been grooming him since he was 10 years old. Yeah, but a bitch can't groom you. No, she's uh, queen. Like, if she was his yeah. teacher, that's different, but she was, like, the queen. Some you know? powerful queen's been grooming him since he was 10. She was, like, she 30. Was, he was she like didn't see him. Like, she's, last time she saw him, he was a little kid. I, I wouldn't call that grooming. That he was, was barely a teenager when she saw him. Come on. She's, no, 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 the first time she grooming, met him. Grooming, grooming is a party Star Wars. The, <laughs> the first time she met him, he was a child, right? He was, like, 8, 9 years old or something like that. Maybe yeah, that's 10. how it starts. Maybe yep, 10, yep. right? He helps save her planet, blah, 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 blah. He becomes a Jedi apprentice. She doesn't see him again until he's like 18 years old. It's like 10 years later that she sees him again. Yeah, so she, she was that, like, she, she was like 14. He was like eight to 10. So let's say six years different. In 10 years, she'd be like 26. He'd be 20. That's She's doable. Grooming. She's grooming. She's a groomer. I mean, if she had just like stayed out on his ass the whole time, then you'd have, I think you'd have a much better case. She, she was on the cell phone. However, though, day. if Ahsoka is in love with Sabine. <laughs> The last time they were together for a long period of time, Sabine was a child. That's, That's worrying. Starts, That's definitely worrisome. What's going on here? She loves her. She loves her like a like a, not a sister. She wants to. She wants to get in those uh, Mandalorian arms. I'm saying. <laughs> Simper says still taking the veto route. Interesting. Strategy. I'm not taking the veto route. He really is. You're defending. I'm not. Groomers, I'm just giving the facts of the story Until that we're told. Defender of groomers. Maybe That's that was left out of Star Wars. Huh? I mean, That's the stuff we didn't hear that George Lucas didn't want to tell us. Well, that's what Kathleen Kennedy is bringing to the forefront. <laughs> Fucking Dave Filoni. Both of them. More like Dave Filoni us. More like Dave <laughs> fill up a fill up a, a chick. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's my theory. I think uh, she loves what's her name way too much. I mean, if so, it's it's like a 
sister kind of love or like a right. you know, mother daughter type thing. All right, so this is the last. last I bet bit. they make out before the series, though. I mean, if they do, I'm gonna we're definitely gonna have a case here. But anyway, she so she talks to a giant space whale, and then the space whale. Let's see, is she riding the space whale? They go inside the space whale. That's not an innuendo. And it it closes its mouth, and then she's like. Or, uh, Huang's like, do you know that they're taking us to the right spot? She goes, fuck if I know. Oh, my God. Like, what? I know, we just got eaten. <laughs> and then That's the space okay. whales almost destroyed a part of the Republic fleet. <laughs> and so, so stupid. Off into space. Based. She, <laughs> That's insulting to George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> they literally have proof of the what's going on. Like, the computer, the, the machine guy has the download of everything. The schematics of the thing, their plan, not where they're going, but... No, no, let's make this a fight between them because she left with, like, five uh, cruisers. Show I'm just done. glad the green chick and the the half pint and the, the fucking trash can are out of the show now. Onion and fat Asian guy. I'm just glad those guys are out of the show now. Although, I'm sure they're going to get cutbacks. Like, there's only, like, one episode left, isn't there? Uh, or is it I, eight? I, I, I think it's eight. Oh, okay, damn it. Simper says, so when the space whale goes to light speed, how does the ship not ram into the back of the whale? <laughs> how do physics work? I would assume they create some sort of whale bubble around themselves. Yeah. To speed off into space. You know. They create a sperm tunnel. That's what it is. Yep. Yeah, what up, Yeti? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, this show just keeps getting stupider and stupider, and it somehow feels like nothing ever happens, really. Like, there are things that definitely happen. But they're so stupid, they don't, really, and they don't give you any time to really think about it. So episode one and two anything. could have been edited down to half-hour episodes. Episodes three and four could have been edited into one half-hour episode. <laughs> um, episode five could have been a half-hour. We didn't need any of that Anakin shit. Like you could have, you could have just, you could have accomplished all that with like two scenes, and then basically him being like, you know. Turn into a force ghost and go, I'm protecting you, bitch, so you don't drown. Because you've been in this fucking water all goddamn night! I uh, yeah. I Don't yeah. worry, don't think about it, Till. I hate everything. And Simper's trying to... He, he's, he said the uh, the Clone Wars line was the most insulting line of exposition <laughs> ever. I thought the whole thing was kind of insulting. To Hayden Christensen, mainly. Christian Haydenson. It, Better actor. It was just... It was not. It was not good, at all. 